guys, it's Christine coming to you live from the hive for a quick Facebook live <laughs> here on Friday night. You guys got to see Kelly earlier live. She, uh, <laughs> I checked in with her last night and she said, oh my gosh, I thought today was Wednesday and tomorrow is Thursday. And so she was off by a day. So that's what happens, right? <laughs> when you lose track of days. So yes, we missed a uh, taped technique Thursday yesterday, but you guys got Kelly live today. So that's very awesome. So um, she worked ahead a little bit on the next one, but she didn't get a chance to record it. So she'll she'll be in uh, coming up here <laughs> in this coming week to make sure we get it to you live on Thursday or aired for you on Thursday. So trying to make sure I have my internet connected here because I didn't see anything pop in that I'm live. So I'm on my house internet yet. So maybe that has something to do with it. So I wanted to talk to you guys about what the Winter Creative Escape is. The last card got designed last night and I wanted to share them with you. So, oh, here, Julie Bierschbach already here. Hi. Awesome. Hi, Tabitha. Woohoo. Sandy's here. Deb's here. Julie's here. Woohoo. Okay, cool. Kathy King is also here. So I'm going to keep it Short and sweet, I hope. <laughs> Tyler's gonna be over in a bit. We have a little gathering tomorrow and we are gonna make uh, some spinach artichoke dip and we're gonna make a dessert. And so it's all ready to go for tomorrow. Hi, Anna. Um, so perfect. Okay, so what is the winner of Creative Escape? So, well, first of all, thank you to all the people who have already signed up for the winner of Creative Escape. Uh, the official deadline to sign up was last week. Hi, Kay. Hi, Denise. It was actually last week the 10th. What was the 10th? Last week, Friday. So we're already a week past the reservation or the registration date. But I always have people that come to me after a registration date and say, can I still sign up? <laughs> so I've learned this through the years. <laughs> and so I, I take that official registration and anybody who signed up by that day needed to tell me if they were in on the swap. So the swap numbers are already told to people. So you can't sign up for swaps. But if anybody's still interested, after I show you the cards and show you one of the attendance gifts, I still have some spots open. So I had somebody sign up today, so that was super exciting. So my disclaimer though, guys, is if you don't wanna see the cards and you don't wanna see the bag because you want it to be a surprise, then by all means, you can listen, but don't be tempted to look at the camera, okay? So, so the Winter Creative Escape, this is the third annual. So I've done the first two of them actually up at a, a hotel up in Oshkosh, and it was a day and a half retreat, and you stay overnight, and it's awesome. Hi, Diane. Hi, Donna. And this year, after having the Summer Creative Escape, my first Summer Creative Escape, because I have this beautiful establishment here, I did the Summer Creative Escape here as one day events and um it was three one day events and everybody loved it hi stacy burns happy friday to you yay it's finally friday yes uh so i had three one day events and i had like 15 people each day and then i had about 15 people online so it was about six it was 60 people when it was all said and done hi bonnie kelly and so what i decided to do i took a poll at the end of the summer creative escape of all the people that participated and I would have to say 80% of the people picked that they would rather do a one day retreat for the winter creative escape versus a day and a half up at the hotel. So I took that into consideration when planning this one and I looked at it as well. Wow, you know, if 80% of the people like having it here in person, uh, it's easier for me. I don't have to haul my stuff all up. I even took a TV. I took a TV that size basically up to the hotel so that I, you know, didn't have to rent the projector. I kept it like as very cost effective as possible. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, so, but everybody was like, not everybody, I'd say 80%. So there were a few people that said that regardless of what it was, they still love the event so much that they wouldn't not come because it was a one day instead of a day and a half. So um, happy, uh, happy Christmas, Merry Christmas, Patty Stevens. Um, so so what? that's what this is, is for one day in-person events. And then for you um, that are not local, it's an online event. And you get access to all the things that happen every day virtually via a Facebook group. And so, it, and if you're attending one day in person, you get the benefits of the other days. So it's awesome. I have Jennifer Merle Hampshire who's coming up from Indiana and she's with me the entire time. And between the two of us, we put on the whole show. Uh, my cousin Kelly helps out. Kelly, my AKA marketing manager, <laughs> um, who does the Technique Thursdays and the Tip Tuesdays. My mom cooks the food and 
I have lots of helpers too. I have Anna and Tammy who are solid helpers for this event, doing all the die cutting, embossing, helping with the make them the attendance gifts. And so we got a whole team of people. And so what it is, is um, it's January um, 13th, which is a Thursday, Friday the 14th, Saturday the 15th, or Sunday the 16th. And you can choose any of those days if you're local and you want to come in person. And if you're online, you are not committed to a certain day. You get the whole event. Um, and what it is, is Jennifer is actually doing a presentation every day on a different 3D project. And we talked about today what she's doing and we're so excited about the different projects. And so these are creative presentations and demonstrations that are gonna be videotaped. And so they're live for the people that are here during the day. And then they are um, via Facebook Live. So you can watch them live. There's gonna be an agenda and you can always catch the replay if you're at work or you have something else going on or something comes up, they're gonna be there for however long Facebook is around for. Um, uh, and then on top of it, in addition to what Jennifer's doing, I have four awesome, amazing, talented ladies that are doing presentations, creative presentations, doing a one sheet wonder, uh, uh, one's doing an all-star book. Um, I haven't talked to the, uh, gee, hmm. I'm trying to remember what the other two are and I, at the top of my brain, I can't remember, but fabulous presentations and teaching you different things. And anyway, hi Randy. Um, people were asked on their registration form what they wanted ideas on. And if we hadn't done it in the past, uh, we generally throw it and work it into the whole program. So it's just an awesome stampin' event and it's geared at the new spring mini catalog and it's an event open to demonstrators or discount shoppers basically you have to be uh through stampin up like a desk a, we you could be a it, everybody's a demonstrator right but sometimes you don't look at yourself as a demonstrator because you don't hold classes or you don't um do anything except for buy from yourself well then you're a discount shopper so as long as you're a, the demonstrator or discount shopper with stampin up um, that's who this event is, is for. So if you're, hi, Ellen, hi, Shirley, hi, Laura. So if you're on the fence about I'm like, hey, maybe I want to sign up to be a demonstrator or a discount shopper, um, you could have the uh, ability to attend my event. Um, I also throw in there, I've done this in the, this is my event. I'm holding this personally. This is not anything that Stampin' Up! helps me with or Stampin' Up! promotes or does anything <laughs> with. So this is my personal event that I host and I do it to help demonstrators or hobby discount shoppers get the most out of the new catalog. Hi, Jewel. And so I design, well, Krista helped me design cards this time. Um, we designed cards and I, I had a, like a whole like outline of what sets I wanted to use, what products I wanted to use, covering almost all the embellishments, using most all the ribbon, using like eight different stamp sets. Hi, Barb. And so it really helps the demonstrators or discount shoppers get their foot off on the right foot, starting with celebration and giving you guys card samples that you can share with your customers or your friends um, who you stamp with. And so that's what it's all about is sharing this new catalog. You get a $50 goodie bag um, in your registration amount, and that includes celebration product as well. And it's just, it's going to be good. And so that's a lot of it in a nutshell. Um, so it's basically presentations, creative inspiration, and then make and takes. There's a 3D project make and take. There's swapping as well, which is already closed, but I think that all in all, I added up that there's like 80 cards that are being, unique cards being swapped. So that's awesome. So all those go on display. On top of it, I have eight display stampers. So eight different people picked a suite from the catalog and they are doing a gorgeous display of different cards, projects, 3D things, just different things to put on display to help people get more ideas and inspiration. And so if you're local and in person, you're gonna be here during the day to experience that, take your pictures firsthand. But um, hi Susan, you guys know how fabulous Kelly is. Kelly helps with all my marketing and like the photos and what Kelly does is she goes around and she takes pictures of all the displays, close up pictures of everything. She takes pictures of the swaps. You guys are all involved in the voting for the contest for the swapping and you have access to these in the, um, the files section or the different, there's a little section in the Facebook group where all of that media is stored. All the videos are gonna be there. So it's just, it's a great event to get people off the right foot. 
um, for the new spring catalog. So I hope that helps make a little bit more sense. Um, the cost is $125. If you're on my team, the amazing Be Happy Stampers, you get a discount. Your price is $115 because um, I like to help ha my team a little bit with the savings. And um, yeah, so my mom makes food. So Cafe Mom uh, makes lunch and then she also makes dinner. So it's a full day. It starts at nine o'clock in person and then goes till about 6.30, seven o'clock. It all depends on how much time people need for stamping. I mean, we have eight projects or eight cards, I should say, and then a 3D project. And so there's presentations and then there's working on cards, presentation, eating, <laughs> socializing, talking shop with fellow demonstrators. And the great thing is that everybody's at different stages, right? You have somebody that just signed up to start, like Tabitha just signed up to be a, de a demonstrator discount shopper um, maybe three weeks ago. It was sometime in November. And so she's fresh and just doesn't know what's really going on. And this is a great time to socialize and network with other um, discount shoppers or demonstrators. And then you got all the way up to me and like Amanda Waldart and uh, Jennifer Merle Hampshire. And there's people that want to learn about, well, how do you do Facebook Lives? And how do you do um, something on YouTube? And how do you do this? And how do you do that? And there's time to talk about that as well. And so it just is an all-encompassing event, great event for people. So yay! Hi, Linda Hodge. And so I'm t doing this video because I want you guys to understand what the whole event is about and to let you know that there are a couple spots, I shouldn't say a couple, there's probably about 10 spots left. And um, once they're gone, they're gone. And I know that by the time the event is held, they will be gone. So if you're on the fence about signing up, maybe seeing the cards and seeing the attendance gift might get you off that fence so you can stop having those splinters. <laughs> so, all right. I also, for the first time, I'm, oh, not the first time, the first time here, I'm hosting a shoebox swap. Um, so we have, I think, 10 people that signed up for the shoebox swap on Friday night, which is awesome. So, all right, are you guys ready to see some cards? I'll save the bag for last. Um, hi, Kathy Jackson from Iola, Wisconsin. Um, so, I'm excited to share these with you. I'm waiting to see if you guys want to see them. So some thumbs ups or some ha happy hearts. <laughs> so, all right, we're going to start with the card that Carissa and I struggled with the most. This one kind of like sucked the creative juices out of us. So it's kind of easy to work on cards in the beginning because first of all, I picked out the stamp sets and I knew which kind of ones I wanted to feature. And then it was like, well, which card would go go with this paper? And then which card would go go with this paper? And the ultimate goal when I do this escape is to try to get samples that use almost everything. Hi, Carol Lee Crab. Hi, Cheryl Taylor. And so, in doing this, like I want to say that all of the products in the new spring catalog were covered except for a few. I had a really hard time bringing in the Hay Sports Fan Paper and the Hay Sports Fan Stars. I will admit those two things, and I'm trying to think if there's anything else, those two things were hard to get covered. But in turn, and then there's one ribbon that's not available to us right now. Hi, Brenda Little. Uh, the soft suck. Hey, Carissa. It did. A big, it sucked. Carissa said, yes, it sucked the creative juices out of us big time. Um, there's a soft succulent ribbon that is not available. It's still um, out of stock. It was never in stock, I guess I should say. And so I'm figuring out a different way to incorporate that ribbon into one of your attendance gifts. So it still gets used on a project you get to go home with or get in your goodie box when you get it mailed to you. So keep in mind, as you look at all the samples, all of the ribbons, but the soft succulent were used all of the embellishments were used except for the, the sports one and all of the designer papers were used except for the sports fan. And I think a lot of the specialty papers were used as well. So I'm very excited. Chris and I did, we think we did a great job at making these and designing these cards for you. We hope you like them. We also kept in mind that you guys might not be wanting to buy the stamp set that we're featuring on these cards. And so we left them, um, we designed them with thinking about you guys in mind that, well, what if they don't have a lot of these stamps or they might not buy them? We designed them thinking, well, you could interchange them with something you already have at home. So don't feel obligated that you have to buy eight different stamp sets to make these cards, okay? And I'll try to explain that as we're going through them. And I'll try to say, oh, well, if you have a tree or if you have a flower or if you have something, well, use that instead. Don't buy more stamps if you don't like them. <laughs> you don't have to. <laughs> so we're gonna start with the Happy hedgehogs, but I will show you the stamp set and um, if there's a punch, I'll show you the punch that went with it so you guys can see what we used. So without further ado, I saw all the hearts come through. <laughs> so we'll flip down. Hi, Margaret. Hi, Leslie. Okay, so 
This one was our last one, and it was hard because we really wanted to use the Tulip designer paper with the hedgehog, but we only had the evergreen checkered ribbon left. And so we were like, okay, well, we got to kind of stick with evergreen. So the stamp set used here is called Happy Hedgehogs. There is a punch that goes with it. Okay, you guys, I'm going to be the first to tell you that if you want something out of the new spring catalog that entails a punch, I would not wait three weeks to get it because I have seen over the last couple of years, these punches go on back order for months. Penguin, deer, moose, like they always go on back order. Okay, so we use the little brass butterflies in here. We use the little polished stones. So Diane Bogenhagen loves, loves, L-O-V-E loves this ribbon. <laughs> ribbon. <laughs> so, so on this one, this is a punch actually. So you're going to get your punched pieces. Carissa had the idea. She saw this putting his little back embossed. Um, your embossing here is the new gingham folder in the back. Uh, brought an old die from the annual catalog. It's not old, but a current one from the annual catalog. So if you don't have this stamp set, you would just need some sort of a tree and some grass to stamp on the bottom. On the inside is where we use the stamps from the stamp set. So the butterfly, the mushroom, and the little dude here. So, so yes. So this one, you don't need a lot. You would just need something to stamp. Because when you get your, if you're coming in person, you use my stamps and my ink. But if you're getting a to-go kit, I can't stamp anything. So you would get this white rectangle and you would put whatever you want on it to go along with your little dude here. Okay, so number one, Happy Hedgehogs was the last card that we got done. <laughs> okay, and now in no particular order, uh, Sweet Conversations was picked for uh, featuring for the winner, Creative Escape. Now, if you don't have the stamp set, don't worry. There's only one little heart on here that is stamped. Pulled in the uh, blush, there's some pink glitter ribbon or glimmer paper um, using some of the white frayed ribbon. Hi, Deb Norman using some of the Blushing Bride um, new ribbon, some of the marble designer paper, the Sweet Conversation designer paper, and using the gingham folder. So it's on the inside where I pulled in here the Happy Valentine's Day with a heart from the set. But again, if you don't have this, what is the, the only thing that's stamped here is this little white heart that has, says, Hug Me. So you could always draw a line around the heart and write your own little love note in the middle. So another card where if you don't necessarily have this particular stamp set, you can make a really beautiful card um, without the stamps. So, okay. They named the hedgehog Lulu. I love it. Okay, so you guys, this is Lulu. Meet Lula. Lulu. Lulu. <laughs> I guess it's Lulu if it's a boy, maybe Lula if it's a girl. Um, <laughs> yeah. So, okay. So that was number two. All right. Number three is the Paradise Palms. Any stamp set that Stampin' Up! makes that, in, that has palm trees in it. Um, oh my gosh, Ellen. I would love it if you came in person. My closest airport, just FYI for anybody that is interested, Appleton. Appleton is 45 minutes from here. Milwaukee is next. There's also Green Bay. So uh, I know Allegiant just opened up some, I, I can't remember what part of Florida you're in, Ellen, but um, Fort Myers just opened up Allegiant, um, I think direct flights to Green Bay is what Diane Bogenhagen just told me. So um, Green Bay, Milwaukee, or Appleton. So yes, it would be awesome if you came. Okay. Anytime that you um going to the Nutcracker tonight. Woohoo! I love it, Deb. Enjoy every moment of that presentation. You guys, anytime that Stampin' Up! comes out with a palm tree set, I will buy it. And this one's even better because it has dyes that came with it. And so, da -da -da -da, this one is what we made. It uses the New Horizon paper, which this all back here is paper, guys. None of it is blended with blending brushes. You get the strip of paper... And some has a little yes, less yellow, some has a little more orange, but in all, in a nutshell, it's a piece of paper back there. Um, the trees are die cut, the sun is die cut. You just have to stamp a sentiment. The new little polished stones are using, used, and then that pink um, blushing bride ribbon. Not blushing, yeah, it's blushing bride. Same ribbon as this other one. So sometimes we duplicated ribbon, but um, that's okay. So um, coral background, yes. So on the inside... You have your tree and a sentiment and the sun as well. So another card, you guys, that we designed with all you need is a sentiment. You guys, I think you know I love, <laughs> I've been doing that a lot. I love to do that. Okay, which one next? Okay, I have a disclaimer to make. Everybody who registered already, I sent out an email on Tuesday or Monday. I can't remember. It's already Friday. I'm like Kelly, like the days start to blur together by the end. 
I did put in that email that I was going to use Easter friends. I didn't order Easter friends. Oops. Okay. But I did order Ranoculus Romance and I grabbed that and that's what we worked with instead. So no Easter friends. I will update when on my future email, but just so you know, Easter friends is and then this one is in, okay? <laughs> so my bad. Okay, but I think you'll love the card. So this is the card, all right? Uses one of the doilies. It uses some of that vellum. It uses the love embossing folder. It uses some of the fortune designer paper. It uses the Ranoculus Romance stamp set. So what stamps were used from here? Hi, Mary. Okay, the sentiment was used, that cool scripty was used, and the flower was used. So here's the deal though. It's a sentiment. Everybody has sentiments. It's a background-ish looking object stamp for here. It doesn't have to be this one. It could be something else. So if you're not loving this stamp set, all you need really is some sort of a flower stamped in gray for the back. So like, let's say you sign up for this and you don't want to buy the stamp set. You just need a sentiment, some sort of background, and then a flower to come up. The doily is going to be provided. You have your circle. You'll have foliage things coming out the side. So yeah, so very easy to make this one. Also, this one uses some of the polished dots. So these were in clear, and then here this card uses them in the pink ones. So yeah, so there's Renoculus Romance. I guess that's maybe how you say it. <laughs> All right, Ta -da -da! which one next? Okay, this one. All right, so this one is called Let's Set Sail, which is another one with a punch. Okay, this one features our sailboat. So uh, the splatter background here is, it's actually embossed with the splatter embossing folder, which got used. So that's a new little combo pair. The paper comes from the heart and the home. So another designer paper pulled in. Um, the little classic dots are part of the heart and home set. And then the sailboat. So here's the deal. You're like, well, I don't know if I want to buy this stamp set. That's fine. What you need, water along the bottom. Some birds would be nice if you've got birds. This is actually done with a post-it note and everybody in their kit will get a little post-it note with a circle cut out and I just took a sponge dauber to put the sun there. Now you're like, well, what about this? Like the sailboat. So this cuts out three pieces and they're gonna be cut out in white. So you're gonna get three pieces cut out. If you don't buy the stamp set, I'm gonna show you during a live um, what you can do. I mean, ultimately it's awesome. You can just stamp over because the stamps are photopolymer so you can ultimately see over um, in person is not going to be a problem because i got to set it up on the stamparatus but if you don't have these stamps i'll be honest with you you could take like a sponge dauber or a blending brush and color your sails solid one color and you could color your boat another color you could take blends and color so you don't necessarily need the stamps for this one either so yay okay so that's called let's set sail uh, what does the inside look like? It looks like that. Woohoo. <laughs> so that's the fifth one. Um, you like the boat card, didn't order it, but now you wish you had. You still can order it, Patsy. <laughs> There's a whole like six months left of the catalog. All right. I'm going to do this one next because I love ladybugs, you guys. I really do. So there's a set called Hello Ladybug. Another punch set. So I picked the three punch sets, you guys. I don't know what is punches I love. Like, they're easy. Um, so it's called Hello Ladybug. Now, what do you need for this one if you're remote and not in person um, to make this card? So your background here is the hexagon embossing folder, part of the heart and home set. So that now use that folder. Um, you guys, do you see the ribbon here? It's the black organdy. But if you look underneath it, it uses the red ribbon, the new red ribbon that's part of the uh, Valentine's Day set. So that's under there, right? Okay, and that's what's under. So it's a two-tone ribbon bow combo effect. Um, the ladybug is from the punch. So you get a black and a red piece and the dots. So if you don't have the dots, uh, Chris and I were thinking, well, you could use a Q-tip and make dots. You could use a pen like a marker and just make circles and color them in. You can make your own dots for your ladybug. It's okay. Like that would work. This is a sentiment from this set. You'll get your two tags here, black and white. The other thing is the leaf. Okay. So the leaf comes from this set. It's fussy cut. So if you don't have this set 
and you have some other light, like leafy thing from a different stamp set, you could definitely put different leaves underneath. Um, and that, and so that would be the main thing here. So using some of the brass butterflies again. And then the designer paper comes from, oh man, oh, artfully composed, I think. It's like, uh, like leaves. Like, so it's the backside is green, greenery. I don't know if you guys can even see that, but it's that one. Lo and behold, there's black polka dotted paper in there that may, it was perfect with our ladybug card. So we were super excited. So sentiment dots a leaf on the inside is where we pull in the little ladybug here to decorate our corner here. And then it says you can bug me anytime. You can make it a birthday card, a thinking of you card, a thank you card, whatever kind of card you want. So, all right. There's our ladybug. <laughs> Susan wants the ladybug bundle. She, she, uh, it was one, I was definitely on my list. Okay, we're gonna do the rainbow next. So, rainbow of happiness. Okay, so this card, I actually thought, well, it's okay to um, do some celebration paper. So generally for the Winter Cave Escape in the past, I've kept it to non-celebration stuff. But in this one, there are two products in the, celebration catalog that coordinate with the um the mini catalog and the rainbow is one of them so you can get the designer paper for free with a $50 purchase and that's where this rainbow comes from so all it is is you got to just cut it out so it's part of your designer paper that comes from there you need a sentiment these little clouds are actually die cut from the mother of the pearl and paper some of the iridescent rhinestones I think they're my favorite embellishment out of the new mini catalog they're so pretty. They look like cotton candy. And so they they bring in pinks and blues and yellows and greens and purples. Oh my, so cool. Uh, some polished pink ribbon. And then using the tag punch here. Now this, if you can see the lines coming down, it's meant to look like rain. And so that's the stripes embossing folder got used on this card. Oh, so, so awesome. And then the inside is where some stamps got pulled in from sending you a rainbow of happiness and put some little raindrops falling down so oh we, we had so much fun with this it's so bright and cheerful so and all you guys need for this one sentiment and some ink to put on your rain that's coming down so very very cool all right are you guys ready for it last but absolutely and certainly not least we're doing a slimline card and this card is going to be exclusive to the winter and creative escape where some of these other cards or all the other cards I, I, I sprinkle into my classes throughout the next like till May. So this one's exclusive in terms of being a slimline card because for my class that I'm going to be featuring this card and I actually converted it back down to an A2 size card. So are you ready for it? Oh my God. I think you guys are going to love it. Okay. Hang on. Let me flip back down. Oh my God. I love it. I love it. I love it. So it's a slimline card. So yeah. <laughs> and it features the flowering rain boots stamp set. Um, yes. And it's pulling in some of that glimmer paper here <clears throat> that comes with pink and it looks pool party ish. And so this is using the tulips designer paper because on the back side it's all full. Of, oh, you can't see that, but it's all full of tulips on the back. So pulled in the tulips designer paper and these dies. Okay. So they're already out being processed for hell working for the winter crew escape already. So the dies are half missing, but this little whole thing is in there. Um, this little trellis thing, thing in the back, the gardening can, the watering current can comes from it. Like the flowers are part of here, the little seed packet. Um, so yes. And here are the inside. Here is the inside. Our friendship is naturally beautiful. And so the only stamp that was pulled in from the annual catalog for all of these cards was just the background here. This was from Artistically Inked. And so basically, um, it's just a background though. It was just to make the pool party paper not be so blank. <laughs> so so that got stamped around the edge. Um, bark embossing folder got pulled in from the annual catalog. The little pebbles got used here. They're so cute. So they're sprinkled on this little ledge and then brought in that white frayed ribbon again. Um, and some stitched rectangles here. So very, very, very cool. So that one kind of completes all eight cards. Um, I, if you had to ask me what my favorite is, I guess if you guys want to see here, this is what I did for the class card that's going to be used. I basically condensed it down into a little smaller of a card. So 
So yes, so the slimline is exclusive to the Winter Creative Escape where the other ones, I do sprinkle in some here and some there throughout the next five months because if I'm designing a card, I'm gonna get the most bang for my buck with it, right? <laughs> so, okay. So Laura sa Lori says the pebbles are her favorite. So which card was your favorite? Oh my gosh. Like, I, I, mm. I think they're all great, but if I had to pick, I I love gardening. You guys think I love stamping the most, but I do love gardening. <laughs> I do love planting seeds and watching them grow. And so the gardening one has like a close spot in my heart. So, and you guys, this is my second slimline card that I ever made. I didn't really get on the bandwagon <laughs> all these years, but if anybody watched me for my craft roulette, that was my first slimline card that I ever made. And so when I was talking to Krista and she's like, have you ever made a slimline card? I'm like, no. She's like, yes, you did. You made it for the craft roulette. I'm like, oh, I did. So yeah, so now my second slimline card. <laughs> and then the thing about that is they actually have matching envelopes. So, so part of your goodie bag that you get is the, the envelope that goes with it. Oh my gosh, you guys, we froze. So um, I don't know at what part we froze, but let's see if I'm not frozen. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm not frozen, I'm frozen. <laughs> oh, palm tree, good. Um, hedgehog, ladybug, you love them all, the paradise. So, I don't know if I'm still frozen or not, but let's see here. Um, I wanna show you the bag yet, so my screen froze. I don't know what is going on with the whole internet technology world, but I feel like since these storms went through this week, um, we have had delayings of our our lives with each other. So I am connected to the hive. So I'm gonna hit play one more time and see if I am good to go. It's like it's stuck. <laughs> so I wanna make sure that I'm still good with you guys. So hang on. I, I've got the black screen of death on here. So <laughs> you guys, I'm trying to entertain myself and you while I get my, um, get everything rocking and rolling here back to to the video. I looked down and you guys were all frozen, or I should say I was frozen, but I saw thumbs ups coming through. So let's see if it's gonna work. Cause the bag is awesome. Here, it's still going. I think it's going. You're frozen too, froze, froze. Okay, it's going now, I think. So actually we're talking about slimline envelopes and the goodie bag, freezing, unfreezing. All right, the sea glass shapes, that's what they're called, yes. I think I call them little pebbles, but the pebbles are what was on the hedgehog card. It's the sea glass shapes so that we put, Kathy, you're right, that I call them the wrong thing. Okay, so now I think we're back rocking and rolling and we're good now. So Linda says we're good. So, and so this happened to me on Thursday night, which was yesterday, so, <laughs> but not frozen anymore. So I'm gonna grab the bag and I'm gonna bring it down. So you guys, I may have had this bag made personally, but I sent it out to a local company. Um, Kelly helped me get the logo um, from Stampin' Up's website. And so uh, this bag is exclusive to this event only, and it is one of the attendance gifts for people who register. So um, it's not anything you can buy anywhere. Um, and Stampin' Up didn't provide me any part of this. I chose to make it on my own <laughs> and pay for it on my own. And so that, as part of this whole event that I'm putting on. So Mitzi's late, but she's here now. Okay, so disclaimer. If you're part of this event and you want this to be a surprise for you, you know it's a bag, but if you don't wanna see what it looks like, you better turn your camera away right now and or like plug your ears and like do this and like do this and so that you don't see it. But if you don't care about seeing it, then definitely like look. <laughs> so, all right, so I'm gonna flip down. I'm just like, really excited. So Stampin' Up! whenever they do an onstage or some sort of event, you get a bag and um, I just was like, I found this bag. I am part of a promotional marketing, like I get emails from them. And this bag came across and I'm like, oh my God, it's so pretty. And I had Kelly help me figure out to put the logo here and it's imprinted on here. It's not like fabric, um, like embroidery. It's like um, screen printed on. And so there's a pocket there. Oh, I'm freezing again. So there's a pocket here. And then there's a pocket. If I move fast, I notice like the wavelengths get really weird. So there's a pocket there. There's a pocket here. Okay, the back is plain and it's got embossing powder now because Kelly was doing something with embossing powder. And then on the inside, it's open. So yeah, so you can see there's tissue paper there. So it's just an open bag that you can put like catalogs in, you can carry if you want to go to a Stampin' Retreat, if anything. So that's my bag, I love it. <laughs> so 
um, I had to tease you guys just a little bit because a little teasing might help me fill my last um, 10 or so spots to fill up the event. <laughs> so, um, so that's the bag. Yay. Okay. There are like two more other, um, three little gifts that are being made um, for people as well that are part of the event. And there's a 3D project that I'm not going to share that is definitely a surprise. It involves a paper pumpkin box. Uh, and there's a goodie bag that's also with the registration. So when you break it all down, you guys, I know that $115 or $125 seems like a high amount for a one-day thing. But what we pack into it, it really, I feel like the value, and I don't personally, like, I feel like, People have told me that. So there's a lot of people that are watching right now that have attended my Winter Creative Escapes in the past and my summer one. And you get a lot of value for what you pay for it. And um, the, the price did go up from the Summer Creative Escape because everybody said that I didn't charge enough. And so I looked at it and you're right. <laughs> like like when you put all the time and investment into it, like you don't want to like be under. And so uh, that's how the discounted price came for my team because I like to give back to my team where I can. Uh, so, so that's why the Be Happy Stamper price was $10 less. And for all the ideas and the inspiration, and I have so many displays that are made by wonderful crafters and very talented people. Uh, and just the ideas and it's just it gets you off and it gets you inspired and it gets you ready and rearing for a new catalog and a new celebration so um, for anybody and it's not for it's for, it's open to every demonstrator discount shopper from one end of the spectrum to the other end you will get something out of it so you know I promise and if you don't um, I'll yeah I need to know that so I can make sure that I can work on that <laughs> because that's always my goal and having everybody to have fun so I put a lot of time and energy and a lot of my helpers do too. And we just want you guys to enjoy this event. So, oh, Diane said, don't hesitate. Best learning experience ever. Um, yep, it's for the U.S. Uh, Shirley just asked if it's for the U.S. I, um, I don't have a good, I, I'm not set up to ship boxes internationally. Um, I know that some other demonstrators do that internationally, but I don't work with and deal with customs and getting it to overseas or to different countries. And so it's just U.S. only. Yes, that is a good question. Very, very good question. So if you are interested in signing up, just know if you sign up through my website, um, you need to go to, to see all the details. It's my calendar of events. Uh, go to www.cardsbycrispy.com. Go to either January 13th, 14th, 15th, or 16th to that day on the calendar, and that's where you can find all the details. And um, read through them. You can pay on my website if you want to. Uh, it takes credit card. Just know that there is a credit card processing fee that is charged. Where if you pay me or reach out to me directly to sign up, you can just tell me that you want to sign up and you can send the money via PayPal, friends and family, Venmo, Facebook Pay, Cash App. You can send me a check. Cash is good. <laughs> you know, like, anyway, and when you pay for one of those methods, then there's um, a discount for the convenience fee. So um, the other thing, too, is... I do product shares and I do designer series paper samplers. And so if you sign up for a DSP sampler or a product share and you do the winner creative escape, I can include that in your box. And so you don't have to pay additional shipping for those, um, those other things that I offer. So right now I have about 14 designer series paper samplers left. Uh, I planned for 24 and I have, I think 10 already um, accounted for. So there's like 14 left. And for the product shares, they're endless right now because um, I can't order any product until the first day of the catalog goes live. But I can have you sign up for them already if you're interested. And I do a paper share, a ribbon share, and an embellishment share. And so if you sign up for any of those, um, I can include them in your box when it ships out and you can save the shipping. So that's always good. Saving and shipping is always a good thing. So... Um, do you guys, nobody's asked any questions besides um, US only, but as long as you got me here and I haven't heard the garage door open yet, so I know Tyler's not here yet, uh, is there anybody that has questions about the Winter Creative Escape? I'd love to answer them live because if you have a question that I'm sure that somebody else is wondering the same thing. Um, and if you don't and you think of something later on, you guys, my email address was down on the screen, chrismbertram at msn.com, text, call, email, Facebook message me. Um, don't send a letter because it might not get here till after Christmas. <laughs> uh, some of them are taking it a little bit longer to get to me. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, I am here to answer any questions that you guys have. Um, and we'll go from there. So I think that, um, when is it? So it is January 13th, 14th, 
15th, 16th. It's four one-day in-person events. And if you are not local and you do the online option, you can. there will be an agenda and there's gonna be two lives each day and you can log into Facebook and get to the group on those days and watch us doing the Facebook Live and interact with us. Um, or you can catch the replays. So if you're not local and you can't attend the days, you don't have to attend the days. You can just catch the replays whenever it's convenient for you. So I did this Winter Creative Escape two years ago already and that Facebook group is still there and people can go back and access and look at those pictures and watch the videos anytime that they want to. And so, um, so it's online or in person. And I think right now, I think Melanie Howe is coming up from Tennessee and we've got Deanne coming from Michigan. And otherwise, I think a lot of people are Wisconsin. But I would love it if Ellen got on a plane and got her butt up here. That would be awesome. <laughs> so, yes. And if you guys want more details, I have that printout that I had earlier that is all written down in a book in the event on January, my calendar of events in January 13th, 14th, 15th, or 16th. So if you go to that day on any of um, any of those days and go into the detail, you'll see everything. Just at this point, the swapping is closed. Uh, people needed to start planning how many cards they needed to make. And so um, if you do sign up, then you can still get in on the voting for the swapping. You just can't participate in the swap. So you're very welcome, Margaret. All right. I think that, oh my God, 40 minutes. I was thinking it was me a half hour. So we went a little over. I always go longer than what I think. I'm full of hot air usually. So, <laughs> and I got to share it with you and get it out. <laughs> so I will, I hope you guys like the cards and I hope you like the bag. And maybe somebody that was on the fence about joining me is going to now decide to join because that's what I am hopeful for. <laughs> I'm going to get the last of my spots filled up. So, all right, you guys, that's it for a Friday night. Tomorrow is more designing time. I'm going to start working on January cards now, um, the January monthly class. Uh, Kelly photographed some of the other classes that I have done, so you can start watching for pictures in the next maybe two to three days of cards that are coming up. So, okay, guys, have a great weekend. Lots of sunshine, love, and hugs to you. Don't eat too much over the weekend if you have holiday stuff coming up. <laughs> and if you do eat too much, take it and own it, right? <laughs> and enjoy it because it's that time of the year where we get all this crazy good chocolatey yumminess and like awesome holiday candies and cookies and baking. <laughs> so, all right, you guys, we'll see you later. Love you. Bye.